Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. A few days ago, did a couple of different videos. Uh, the first video that I did was about a group of comic people. Uh, I did say pros in the video, but yeah, let's be honest, they're not professional at all. Uh, Max Visaggio, Kwanzaa, and then some other guy, uh, some other failure, uh, who were openly talking on Twitter about the essential cancellation of Sean Gordon Murphy, one of the mainstream industry's biggest and brightest talents right now. Why? Because Sean's actually a nice guy. That's pretty much what it was. Because Sean doesn't play this stupid political game which is going on in mainstream comics. Where they are demonising people simply because they have a differing political view. It is madness. And then the second video that I did was about Kickstarter getting rid of 40% of their staff because their company's going broke. They're pulling in about 1.5 million profit per year, which is terrible if you think about it, considering how long they've been around and what they've had on their platform. But not only that, one of the casualties of this, and I've got no sympathy whatsoever, was the comic book gatekeeper. Somebody who would approve people to put their comic books on Kickstarter. And that resulted in a loss of millions of dollars for them. Yet they pat themselves on their back for doing the right thing. Right side of history and all that nonsense. And I referred to Richard C. Mayer's uh, Jawbreakers book. Rye said that he was uh, rejected to go on to Kickstarter and therefore uh, he had to go to Indiegogo. And then... There was a, a knock-on effect. EVS saw that Kickstarter was an unfriendly place. He goes over to Indiegogo. And of course, the story with those guys is they make millions. EVS has, has hit well over $2 million through crowdfunding in two years over on Indiegogo. Richard C. Mayer must be up to around, or if not, just over a $1 million plus by now. But maybe even a little bit more with all the campaigns that he's run as well within that time period. This, of course, is money which could have been on Kickstarter had they not gatekept. However, Richard actually replied to the video and it was worse. He says, it's even worse. Kickstarter approved my project, which is a several day process, and then rejected it after approval just hours before I was supposed to launch. Which to me, sounds like soy ops. It sounds like they knew what they were going to do with him. He was approved. And then just as he's ready to go, oh sorry Richard, no can do. You're not welcome here. For maximum disruption. But it's a happy ending. Not in a massage parlour kind of a way. Well, maybe. Because he goes over to Indiegogo and, like I said, probably does well over a million dollars by now in sales. And in actual fact, this morning, his uh, Iron Sights Two Psychos book has arrived in the UK. So I'm going to have uh, great fun having a read of that later on. Money which could have gone either to Kickstarter or money which could have gone to the mainstream industry. Pick one. But it didn't. It went to Richard C. Mayer and it went to Indiegogo for their little cut. Then, of course, I talked about, as I mentioned, the attempted open cancellation, the call to cancel Sean Gordon Murphy by Mags, Kwanzaa and some irrelevant person. Joe Glass, I think it was. A hanger on her. So I'm knocking, I'm knocking the books around. An open, an open call, being really, really pathetic, like a bunch of screeching teenage kids. And actually, if you're a teenager and you're watching this, which is only like 0.4%, I'll probably do you a disservice and I do apologise, because I actually think you're more mature than that. So anyway, 
We know that Sean Gordon Murphy is going to do an Indiegogo campaign and boom, it launches yesterday and under 24 hours, just under 24 hours, he's still showing us 60 days. He, I think it's going to tick down to 57 soonish within the next couple of hours or so. But in the first 24 hours, he's raked in $107,000 with 1,188 backers. Now, I saw a tweet from EVS earlier who was kind of saying this is how you should, you know, predict what your campaigns are going to do based off your first day and such. And if that's correct, if that sort of methodology is correct, then it looks like Sean Gordon Murphy is probably going to make between three fifty, maybe three fifty to four hundred thousand dollars from this campaign. Could do much better. Who knows? Sean Gordon Murphy is a mainstream talent. He's somebody who's put out all the Batman White Knight stuff, Curse of the White Knight. So that in itself might actually aid him get a wee bit more publicity because you, you have to take into consideration nobody in the mainstream comics media is talking about the success of EVS who just did $852,000 with Cyberfrog 2 Rec Planet in 60 days. Nobody's talking about him. Nobody's talking about Richard C. Mayer making his money. Nobody's talking about uh, Dan Frager making his money on Indiegogo with his relaunching of Black Flag. They're not talking about that. Why? They're in the comic book industry because they go to Indiegogo and they independently make their money. Because the mainstream comic press panders and is the same as as in has the same ideology as the crazy mainstream comic industry which is absolutely immolated at the moment and we've seen from what they've been talking about in the last couple of days or so last week or two this industry has learned nothing nothing from the fall of diamond uh, to the product that they're putting out. They think they're just going to go back to normal. Which means they are just resetting the doomsday clock on the fire. That's it. Just becomes a matter of time. And this time around, I think it's going to come a lot quicker than they imagine. We've got a shop buying 500 issues of new warriors one thinking that the publicity not backing the project in as much as he thinks the comic's going to be good no 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 no. he thinks that it's going to be so bad that people are going to come in and snatch it off the shelves i don't think so i think people are going to wait until their boy zach yellow flash just some guy those people go and buy the comic and do their roast videos so they can just sit back on YouTube for free and have a mighty laugh at their expense. But going back to the cancellation of Sean Gordon Murphy, we have an interview that he did with Newsarama. Now, Newsarama is the mainstream comic book press. And because Sean Gordon Murphy is part of the mainstream industry still, but he's chosen to do his own individual project, I haven't backed this. I'm thinking about it. I've got to be totally honest with you. It, it's kind of, I'm sort of iffy on whether or not it, it appeals to me. I've read the, the pitch and I'm sort of like, eh. And I look at the characters and I'm kind of like, eh. But I really like Sean Gordon Murphy. I think he's good people. Uh, you know, I think he's sound. I think he just wants to get on with his business. I don't think he's uh, politically motivated. And so there's a, there's a good chance that I will, I will pick up this project. But he does have a, a, a goal of um, 100,000 to unlock the hardcover edition. So I, I would probably go for that. So I'm going to wait. It's hit 100k. He's going to add the hardcover edition soon. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But he does this interview with Newsarama. But Newsarama, of course, are in cahoots with the mainstream industry. 
And so we have a typical interview to start with. And then we have a very interesting question that was asked. A question which, to be perfectly honest with you, doesn't matter one bit. But let's get into it. So Nuzirama say, I noticed for this, you opted to crowdfund the plot holes through Indiegogo instead of Kickstarter, where you and your art agents have done several successful ones in the past. What led you to Indiegogo instead? Hey, Sean, why did you leave our platform? I'm asking for the mainstream industry who's trying to cancel you. For those people on Twitter who openly discussed cancelling you. Who said that you're in bed with Comicsgate. Who wanted to lead other industry mainstream people to question you. Why did you leave, Sean? Kickstarter's our platform, Sean. That's where we gatekeep all the Yahtzees and the white supremacists and the istheisms and the phobes, Sean. Why did you leave, Sean? I would have told him to go off. <laughs> I could go to whichever platform I want. Next question. But, as we've established from previous videos, Sean God Murphy clearly has much more class than I'll ever have. <laughs> but he responds, and I like his, his, the first part of his response a lot, because it's very practical. It's very pragmatic. And he says... Indiegogo made us a great offer and even assigned us a helper. Plus, they have connections to distributors, storage, insurance, etc. And I like that the campaign can run for twice as long as a Kickstarter campaign. Plus, they take less of a cut. Now, like I said, I would have told him to off. But he shows more class and he, he doesn't have to explain whatsoever but he gives them a very practical answer i can do this i get this benefit they take less of a cut they help me with these things it's a very good practical response then he opens up a little bit and i i like this even more because he could have thrown a bit of shade and said look kickstarter have just sacked 40 percent of their staff they're clearly in trouble and i want to make sure that my money my product my ip is secure could have said something like that no 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 gave just a very practical response but then he says i like kickstarter and will consider working with them in the future but i'm a little hesitant they hired someone who's been a critic of mine for a while. Someone who influences which projects they take, promote, I believe. I'm told this person has left, so maybe I'll try my next book with them. You never know. Now, the last bit of try my next book with them, you never know, is just him placating. He's not gonna. Sean Gordon Murphy makes bank on Indiegogo. He's sticking on Indiegogo. He ain't going nowhere. And of course, the person that he was talking about was the gatekeeper, uh, what was she called? I was going to say Kathy Yang, but that's the one from Birds of Prey. Uh, what was she was? Zhang. Anyway, Zhang. Uh, and it's interesting that he knows that she was a critic. I haven't read anything or seen anything where she has openly criticized Sean Gordon Murphy. I mean, we know that she was there as a gatekeeper. They admit that wholeheartedly. But it just shows the little, you know, the little rooms, the little Facebook rooms, your Discord servers and all that. News travels. News travels and it clearly got back to Sean Gordon Murphy that this person, this person is in, this, in the same bed as probably your Mags, your Kwanzas, etc. Your Joe Glasses, who are looking to cancel. Oh, you better keep an eye on that Sean Gordon Murphy. He's actually looking to utilize his excellent talent as a writer and artist to make some money for himself. Why isn't Sean 
snapping into line. Why isn't he doing as we say? Why isn't he towing the far left crazy ideology that we're pushing? Why? Better keep his, you better keep your eye on that one. So that's that's a, a nice little bit of slightly opening up saying, I know what you're trying to do. That is Sean telling this guy, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. Gives the diplomatic answer and then just gives him a little bit of, I know what you're trying to do. Good luck to Sean Gordon Murphy. Good luck. I hope you have a, a successful campaign. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not sold in as much as on what I see. But I'm probably going to support it. I'm probably going to back it. And I'll I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I think he deserves that. Particularly after the White Knight being so good. And I'm, I've yet to read Curse the White Knight. But my eighth and final part has arrived. So I can now read that in its entirety. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll purchase the book and I'll give it a go. I might be pleasantly surprised. I really hope that I am. But there he is on Indiegogo doing the things. £88,000. I'm just going to refresh to see. There you go. He's gone up to 89 nearly and a half, which is $108,000. Still within the first 24 hours of his campaign. It's going to do well. It's going to do well. And to be honest with you, uh, he's a good guy. And so I like her. I'm happy with that. Maybe, just maybe, this will give Sean a different perspective on mainstream but hey mark wade's on the indiegogo now mark wade's comics gate Woo! get that news out folks uh so i hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links there in the description box down below didn't you know and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now